everyone, it's Laura Kelly from the Me and My Inklings blog, and I'm here today to share with you some deco art projects using their Americana paint, which is their basic acrylic paint, and their value craft stencils, which are really fun because they come like in packs with more than one design per pack. So I'm going to start by showing you my favorite um, value craft pack, and it is the sloth. It comes with two stencils, so you get this one that says just hanging around. And you also get this sloth hanging in a really cute tree. I've already completed a project to show you. I did a little canvas bag with the sloth. And on the other side, that just hanging around. And I'm going to show you how easy it was to do that and then give you a couple other stenciling tips. So to get started, you need to have a surface. A wooden surface is a great surface to use. You can also do it on the canvas bags. You can do it on metal, on wood, on cork. Um, I'm going to do it on wood today, and I'm going to use the sloth. So step one is to position your stencil wherever it is that you want it on your surface. And on this one, I'm just going to do the sloth. I could put the sloth down in the corner add the just hanging around someplace else, but I am just going to do the sloth on this board. So I'm going to position him, and then I'm going to use just some painter's tape to tape my corners down. Some people use a spray adhesive. I like the painter's tape because when you remove it, it doesn't leave any debris or any, any gunk. Um, so yeah, once you have that all painted down, you're going to get out your paint. The paint is awesome. It comes in these little two ounce bottles in a huge variety of colors. You can use them individually or you can mix colors together to get different shades. The tops pop right open and I'm going to put a little bit here, just a little tiny bit on my palette. My palette's a styrofoam plate. And then I'm going to use a stencil brush. So stencil brushes are really dense and coarse. You're barely need any paint when you're stenciling. So my first few times I tried this, I couldn't figure out what I was doing incorrectly, and what I was doing was just getting way too much paint. So I'm going to dab my brush in the paint just a little bit, and then I'm gonna dab, dab, dab it here on the plate. I'm also gonna dab it a little bit on the paper towel, because like I said, I only want a very small amount. And then I'm going to dab it. I'm not doing any brush strokes, just dabbing inside my sloth on the wooden surface. When my paint starts to look like it's getting too light and I don't have enough on my brush, then it's time to go back to my palette, get a little bit more, and go through that same process of the dab, 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 and then dab, 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 dab. The more layers you put on the paint, the darker your sloth is going to get. And so you could just do one light coat and have a light sloth like I did here, or you could do a whole bunch of coats and get a darker sloth. So that's how simple it is to stencil. You can also use makeup brushes. Some people like to use this as a method. So you would just dab it in, same thing, get most of your paint out, and then do it that way. You can do a larger surface quicker with this. There are different sizes of stencil brushes. DecoArt makes a packet that comes with a couple different sizes. But that is how simple and easy it is to create stencil projects. So let me show you a couple more projects that I have completed that are kind of fun. This one is using the llama pack. One of the stencils has the llama and some different little garlands on it. The other stencil in that pack comes with these adorable cacti. So I really like that one too. Over here you'll see the farmhouse um, flour and sugar containers and the little painted canvas. It does work on canvas. That's the farmhouse kitchen pack. There's the Believe in Magic pack that comes with a unicorn, so that's super fun. There is the pack with um, the Let Love Bloom and the wreath, and that one's back here, which is really cute too. There's Girl Power, Believe in Magic, just so many excellent choices of packs and I just again love that there are two in every pack so you can mix and match them and create lots of different amazing things. So I really hope that you learned a lot about stenciling today and how simple and easy your projects can be and that you're inspired to run out and get some Americana paint, get some of the value craft stencils and make some masterpieces of your own. Thanks so much for joining in today and happy crafting.